Nonlinear editing Nonlinear editing is a form of offline editing for audio, video, and image editing. A nonlinear editing system is a video editing program or application, or an audio editing digital audio workstation system. While linear editing is tied to the need to sequentially view film or hear tape, nonlinear editing enables direct access to any video frame in a digital video clip, without having to play or scrub slash shuttle through adjacent footage to reach it, as is necessary with videotape linear editing systems. Compared to the linear method of tape-to-tape -tape editing, nonlinear editing offers the flexibility of film editing, with random access and easy project organization. Because these media exist on the video server or other mass storage that stores the video feeds in a given codec, the editing system can use several methods to access the material, direct access the video server records feeds with a codec readable by the editing system, has network connection to the editor and allows direct editing. Various editing tasks could then be performed on the imported video before export to another medium, or MPEG encoded for transfer to a DVD modern web-based editing systems can take video directly from a camera phone over a GPRS or 3G mobile connection, and editing can take place through a web browser interface strictly speaking, a computer for video editing does not require any installed hardware or software beyond a web browser and an internet connection. The term nonlinear editing was formalized in 1991 with the publication of Michael Rubin's Nonlinear, a guide to digital film and video editing which popularized this terminology over other terminology common at the time, including real-time editing, random access or RA editing, virtual editing, electronic film editing, and so on. Nonlinear editing with computers as it is known today was first introduced by Editing Machines Corp in 1989 with the EMC2 editor, a PC-based nonlinear offline editing system that utilized magneto-optical disks for storage and playback of video, using half-screen resolution video at 15 frames per second. Lost in Yonkers was the first film edited with Avid Media Composer, and the first long-form documentary so edited was the HBO program Earth and the American Dream, which won a National Primetime Emmy Award for editing in 1993. The demands of video editing in terms of the volumes of data involved means the proximity of the stored footage being edited to the NLE system doing the editing is governed partly by the capacity of the data connection between the two, D4F8 at 5E502.